I'm good, Trevor. How are you doing? I'm really doing well. I'm surprised that lasts so long. We're way in the late hours now of yes. the Ligony Art Festival. Uh -huh. And you've been here since when? From 8, 8.30 this morning. Yes. And it opened the doors at what time? I think 10 o'clock. 10, yes. <laughs> so I have to come in early and set up before the guests come in. Now the pieces you have here are no ordinary pieces. They're carvings. Yes. Big carvings. Oh yes. Oh my. And even the piece that we're sitting on. Yes, yes, yeah. it is. Um, I suppose it would be described as um, a, a cultural, Yeah, it's authentic. a rustic, rustic authentic, yes. yes. Chez long. Piece. Yeah, <laughs> <There we> <laughs> on your draw, you don't go everywhere and see this type of work. No, you, you don't. Know? And I try to make them one of a kind. One of a kind. Okay. Yes. Um, I know your father Gilbert. Yes, Mr. Gilbert Nicely is also um, a furniture maker, a rustic artist, I should say. Yes, yes he's the one that taught me all this type of work. Uh -huh. you know, tables, the, the trunks, the footrest. The, the benches. Yes, he, first um, we started making baskets. Mm -hmm. That is really complicated because you have to position the wood between your foot okay. and use a chainsaw oh my. and you have to balance it. Okay. And if you can master that, then you can master anything. Oh, wow. Because you have your toes, your knee, uh -huh. and your foot to think about when you're using a chainsaw. Oh my God, I'm just <laughs> impressed that you can actually use a chainsaw. Yes. Oh wow, that's excellent because I'm just... Oh, let's yes. get in the picture here. Oh, yes. Gosh. All right, this is... This was chainsawed? Yes, this is one piece of wood, uh -huh. if you can look. Okay. There's oh, yes, it is. anything. Wow. Yes. Wow. So when, you see, when people see pieces like these, especially uh -huh. with the the hole in it, yes. they'll probably throw it away, right? Because it's not it, it's not valuable to them. Right. But I definitely oh, try God. to make good use of it. That's a coffee table though, isn't it? Really? Uh, it's it actually a stool, but when you buy it, you can use it and do anything you want with it. Oh my God, so thoughtful. Yes. God. Um, how long have you been doing this for? I mean, it was something that you know you saw your dad doing and you said, yeah, that's definitely for me. Yeah. Um, 12 years. 12 years? Yes. What, what did you do before? I started when I was 12 years old. Yes, I, I was in school. <laughs> I was in school. <laughs> I was in school when I'm doing um, making baskets and little um, mirror frames that you hang on the walls. Yes, I started with that. And then when I was like 16 years old, I started using the chainsaw. Then I was big enough to handle a chainsaw. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm still trying to go over the fact that you can actually handle a chainsaw. <laughs> um, with your artwork, I mean, I know for a fact you sell this all over the world. Uh, um, the last place I've been to is Domrep, Dominica Republic. Dominica, yes. Yes. Um, I was on a show called Design Caribbean. Okay. I was one of the exhibitors there. Okay. So I... I managed to carry some small pieces, basket, and exhibit there. But you have um, foreigners come down and purchase and just put in the luggage and go ahead. Like the baskets and little trinket box. Oh, wow. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm looking at these. Um, is, there, is there a cultural significance to them in regard to the patterns? And, you know, even on the trunk itself, there are some specific cultural designs on them. That's um, indigenous to obviously um, the Caribbean. Well, the, most of the design kind of have an African um, look to it, mm -hmm. and some Caribbean features, especially like the coconut trees and the house on the um, trunk over here. Uh -huh. Yes, it kind of, and then the environment that I'm in kind of yes. inspired me to design it like this, you know? Oh, fantastic. And some of the pieces already designed is just for me to put the finished product on it, put it together and put the finished product on it. Now, now the wood that you're using, uh, uh, you're, taking, you're using a whole host, I mean, I see beach, um, mahogany, 
um, cedar. Cedar wood. Yes, yeah. so I use. I use what I can find, especially like when there's a hurricane season or heavy rains. You have fallen trees. Yes. So I'll try to work with those, or I go to the beach and you see a lot of driftwood yes. wash up on the shore, and I try to use it. Or if they're clearing like um, land to build roads or a scheme, I try to use whatever is available. Oh, that's yeah. excellent. Now, obviously, we've been looking at some of your pieces and everything, and your dad. Um, your, your dad has a more, I would say, complex but yet still appealing style. Yes, our work is very similar, you know. <laughs> it's very close, it's very close. Yeah. yeah. Um, and one thing I noticed about his work as well, um, he's very much about bold detailing. Yes, yes, very definitely. Bold. Definitely. Um, and again, it depends on the type of material that he gets to work with, yes. you know, because he also makes small pieces as well. Okay. Yes, so whatever is available then, you know, you will work with it. Because I also make big pieces. Mm -hmm. I do like bedroom sets, mm -hmm. big doors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so anything that's available, I'll, I'll work you with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes I get like other work. People order stuff, mm -hmm. and I'll make it. Oh, Casey, that's amazing. Um, Casey, um, you know, we've been looking at a lot of things here, and you know, just for everybody, just for, you know, to make sure everybody else can also have a good look as well or a relook. Uh -huh. How can we find you? Well, I'm from Gail, St. Mary, mm -hmm. and the uh, community close to... Do you have a website? Or? Well, I'm on Facebook. Okay, You good. can just type in Casey nicely, uh -huh. and you will find me there. Okay. Yes, so you have some works there as well. So, so. What next? Um, I want to do a show for myself where you just see all of Casey's work. Okay. You know, I want to push it to the limit yes. whether it be some huge dining tables or staircase or something unusual okay, staircases. You just, just brace yourself for it wow. because I am definitely is there something with you in the chainsaw yes okay a whole, a whole lot of chainsaw work will be going on oh fantastic yes. and maybe I can do some demonstration excellent just, I, I know you've given you given us your Facebook but could you just give us it again, please, to make sure that everyone can see your work? Oh, so it's Casey Nicely, C-A-S-I-E-N-I-C-E-L-Y. So type that in a search engine and you'll see different articles come up. Uh -huh. Yes, and in the search engine for Facebook, you'll see that come up as well. Oh, we're so looking forward to that. Okay. Casey, thank you very much for talking with us today. Thanks for having me. And I'll definitely be looking out for you in the future. Okay then, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>